Hello everyone, this is Damien. This is going to be another episode of Beginner's Java. This is going to be episode number four? Five? Five? Yeah, five. Uh, and we're going to be talking this lesson about um, calculating the number of seconds in a duration of time. So this is going to be our last lesson where we don't use any uh, higher stuff. Uh, we'll be getting more into uh, if statements next lesson. So if you're already past where we are, please feel free to skip ahead. So say that we have a user and they enter in and for some reason they want to know how many seconds are in uh, one day six hours 42 minutes and 11 seconds. And I mean I suppose it's a viable question so let's go ahead and and sort of figure some things out. Now we can go ahead and and do this the easy way or the hard way and I'm going to show you guys how to do this the hard way first and then the easy way after that. Um, so first off let's make a few variables. Uh, this time we're only going to be using ints because we're not really too concerned about having majorly gigantic numbers. Uh, if we want we can use long. Uh, long is basically an int that can hold just a whole ton more. Um, I'm not going to use long, I'm just going to use an int. So I'm going to make days and of course I always initialize to zero because every now and again you screw something up. Hours equals zero, minutes equals zero, seconds equals zero. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do this the somewhat difficult way. We're going to make it so that we have uh, sort of a, a descending way to count this. So we're going to first take in user variables. So system.out.println enter the number of days. And so once again we're going to make lucrative use of copy paste. Let me get that semicolon in there. Okay so then we're going to do days equals input dot next int uh, and again we're going to copy paste this all the way down so days oops these days okay and then of course we're going to change this oh all these ends are capital when they don't need to be so yeah sometimes you make silly mistakes like that so hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so as you can see all of those are now being used. Let's change this to make a bit more sense. Hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so once we get that done we have a few options on how we want to calculate this and I want to show you guys that there's a lot of different ways you can do this and they're really all the same. So what we can do is we can make it so that we don't use any variables but what we have here but we'll lose our variables uh, in the long run. So here's what we can do. We're going to go and we're going to take uh, hours equals hours plus days multiplied by 24. So that's going to mean that if there's one day it gets multiplied by 24 and we're adding 24 to hours. So now we can change that if you guys remember we combined that to be plus equals. So what this is going to do is if we have this above idea of uh, having one day six hours that means that we're now going to have 30 hours. So 
that'll that'll give us hours but now what we're going to do is we're going to go down again and we're going to do minutes equals hours or plus equals rather plus equals hours multiplied by 60 and so from there we're going to go to seconds and again plus equals minutes multiplied by 60 so let's see our answer should be well println the amount of time in uh, seconds is now this approach is fundamentally flawed in one small way so we'll calculate this uh, before I tell you why so we're looking for one day six hours 42 minutes 11 seconds now convention would lead me to believe that this is somewhere around a hundred thousand seconds uh, give or take a little so yeah hundred ten thousand seconds that sounds about right however this isn't really how we want to do this because now if we were to just print this out let me show you why this is bad let's say the amount of seconds in uh, trying to think of how to output this to make it look good um, um, plus minutes plus seconds uh, wait nope that's supposed to be minutes plus and in Okay, so we have this, right? Now let's go to the end of there, toss in a semicolon, and you'll see why I don't like this. So if we actually output this, let's do that same thing. We do one day, six hours, 42 minutes, 11 seconds. Now we end up with one day, 30 hours, 1842 minutes, and 110,531 seconds. So clearly that's not how we want to do this at all. So what we can do instead is we can make a total variable equals uh, zero. Need to add in a comma as well. Okay, so now if we change this and we do total, and instead of doing hours, minutes, seconds, we just take this and we feed it all into a total variable. So if we do that, then we enter total, and then we'll do is all right. So this time, oops, what did I screw up here? Ah, missed my ending quotation mark. I think. Oh no, missed my plus sign there and my opening and closing quote. Okay, so we give this a run. Once again, we'll do one day, six hours, 42 minutes, 11 seconds. And now, uh, oh, geez, as you can see, I've, uh, I've made a bit of fool of myself here. So this assumes that you know how many seconds are in each of these, which I just so happen to know. So in a day, there's 86,400 seconds. In an hour, there's 3,600 seconds. And in a minute, there is 60. And then we also have to add seconds. So total plus equals seconds. So once we do that, we will have one day, six hours, 
42 minutes 11 seconds and so then we're able to output this much more meaningful string whereas prior to now we couldn't do that um, this also assumes that you do know how many uh, units there are going to be so this is good and bad in a way lastly there is one final way you can do this and it's not exactly pretty so what you can do is if you really wanted to you could get rid of the total value entirely uh, actually you know what I'll leave it at that if you want you can get rid of the total value entirely and you can change this around to do all the math right in the string in between these so it would be you know uh, something like minutes multiplied by you know blah 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 all the way across all right well i'm going to leave this one here thank you guys for tuning in i'm damien and i hope you have a great evening post any comments or questions down below